My name is Christopher Rich. Uh, I'm from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, part of the National Save a Life Tour. We are a program that tours the country talking about the dangers of distracted driving and impaired driving. Uh, we pretty much uh, get kids drive sims and let them go around and wherever they want to go and basically how cumbersome it is to control the phone and the impairment when a person is driving down the street with that kind of impairment with the delayed reaction, which is how we compensate for the, uh, for the whatever you want to call it, the alcohol per se, okay? So they're trying to control those things, go down the street, do it effectively, and how is that impeding their ability to do so? They're distracted, they're distracted by something, no matter what the confinement is. It's a sim. Uh, they're confined in a car, being distracted with the phone, but they're in here doing the same thing, sort of. It's not exactly driving a car, but one of these does have inertia, and you can't feel the movement inside the vehicle itself. So uh, it's, it's distraction. It, it correlates. It's a uh, poor man's version of a real car. <laughs> But it does, it's the same idea, it's the same principle, same concept. And we try to get people to do the better, you know, to make better assessments with themselves. And, you know, just to be more responsible in a vehicle when they go down the street, understand the, the you know, compl complexity of it. To know that, uh, you know, I could kill somebody, or I could hurt somebody badly, or injure somebody in my car, and how responsible I am. And there are kids too, because they're not fully developed. You know, kids aren't fully developed to about 24, 25 years old. You know? So that whole frontal part of your brain, decision making, judgment, you know, isn't really there yet. But that comes with experiences. And they're more prone to peer pressure in those other aspects of, uh, of life itself. And they're, I mean, I see it in my sim every single day. Sometimes kids will get out of the chair and they'll be said, they'll say, I passed, you know. And I just kind of cringe when I hear that, you know. So, and I always tell them very gingerly, and you saw me do it, <laughs> that, you know, they unintentionally insult anybody who has ever died from a person driving distracted or impaired when they say those things. It's facetious, you know, so you understand what those things mean. And then they kind of go, oh, okay, that makes sense. So you have to know how to talk to them, how to communicate with them, how to see them, kind of be one of them. But then at the same time, once you're in there, you have to be the adult. You have to get in there and then become the adult and just show them how to grow up properly and what to do right. And then they're just kind of there and they're engaged with you the whole time. That's it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's like liquid gold, you know? So it's hard to do. Uh, each dynamic is different when I go to one school to the other. You have to kind of look at your crowd and understand, you know, what the environment is and how you're going to talk to those kids. So each, each one's different.